Here at National Emerging Infectious Disease Lab, we have systems in place and procedures in place that are unlike any other. This is state-of-the-art technology you're looking at, not only for the needle, but any high-risk, high-secure facility. And what we have is a vehicle coming through or approaching uh, the entrance, the vehicle entrance, which is the only entrance a vehicle could get through, and it's stopped immediately. We have a set of what's called bollards that can stop a vehicle, a large truck, and they're stopped and they're actually uh, captured in what we call a vehicle trap. Before that even proceeds past the bollard onto the building, there's a complete inspection of the driver in the vehicle. So it is state of the art. It's much more robust than other laboratories, uh, and it has to be because of what we're dealing with, the pathogens we're dealing with. So um, we have a very robust system, not only of technology, but personnel. When a visitor comes to the needle, they have to be screened. Everybody that comes in here must have an appointment. You can't just walk into the building. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I have a meeting with Dr. Jones at 1130. They come to the pedestrian entrance here. They're greeted by one of our public safety officers. The public safety officer first checks their purpose for being here and then uh, checks their identification. If we have them registered, then they're allowed to come into, the, into the, uh, the, the building here. They're then met by a public safety officer face to face. Any belongings that they have, anything that they're carrying, any possibles are screened through our x-ray machine. Any electronic devices that they're carrying, cell phones, uh, laptops, anything that's capable of taking photographs um, is surrendered at that point. It's locked up with their belongings and they're given a key so that when they, when they leave they can take that with them. Here at the National Emerging Infectious Disease Lab we have uh, security what we call in layers. So when we talk about technology we certainly have state-of-the-art technology. We have many cameras, uh, many hundreds of cameras in fact, uh, internally and externally to this building we have access control points, which are state-of-the-art um, run technology. Thank you. You have been identified. And one of the systems we have in place is a biometric system. It's an iris scanner system. We have a state-of-the-art command center. And this command center combines security and building automation systems. Also critical is our security force here. We have a well-trained armed security force who protect the building 24-7. And the structure of the building itself provides security. We have a set-off uh, fence, perimeter fence, that can stop people from accessing the building on the perimeter. And also it's designed to stop vehicles from entering the perimeter. So it's a combination, we call it layers of security. We want to make sure that our researchers, our workers, our employees, and our community at large is as safe as it can be, and that's why we do it. I don't think you'll find another building in the city as safe as this.